We begin tonight with new information on the search for the people who opened fire on a group of teenagers in Aurora. Six were wounded and all are in hospitals tonight. Police are asking for anyone who saw the shooting to help them figure out what led to this horrific crime. The victims range from as young as just 14 years old to an 18 year old. Police say officers applied tourniquets to at least two of those victims, quite possibly saving their lives. It happened at Nome Park near Central High School around 1245 this afternoon. The high school was secured and police say there will be additional patrols in the area in the days to come. Team coverage on today's tragic news for you. Tori Mason with a look at the impact to the community tonight. But we start with Alan Janae with what we know right now. Alan. Well, Karen, right now, police are asking people who live in that area to check their video cameras to see if maybe they have images which can help them draw a better picture of the vehicles or the people who may have been involved. Now, they believe this is a drive by shooting with the potential that some of them may have been out of the cars on foot at times during this. All six of the injured teenagers are expected to recover four boys and two girls, but they are young. And around the school and around the neighborhood, there is frustration and there is fear. In brief videos shot on a teenager's phone, rescuers work on one of the victims. I saw the girl. She was there. She was laying down. There was a lot of blood. Concerned about showing her face, but sharing video and describing a truck that passed by. He like almost crashed into us, and after that, that's when we like started hearing gunshots. Others heard and saw it too. It sounded like anywhere from like 30 to 50 shots. Leaving parents and neighbors rattling off concerns. It's been problem after problem after problem after problem. Go down here, go down here, down here. We've covered multiple rounds and different um, calibers. Police Chief Vanessa Wilson called for help. Any information you have, no matter how small, we need it, please. But exasperated parents worry. I worry about my son because he's only in the ninth grade. Yvette Mitchell wants more police presence. School resource officers who were there applied a tourniquet quickly. I couldn't be more proud of them. They saved a life today. But there's been trouble in the park next to the school before. I think a week ago, there was a fight. Someone also pulled out a gun. A lot of people sharing worry. And hopefully they survive, but it's just sad to see such young people willing to throw their lives away for, for nothing. Now, Aurora Public Schools released a statement this evening saying they are disgusted by this violence. They say they will have counselors at Central High to make sure that there is help as well as additional security. There's already a $2,000 reward for information in this case, and Chief Wilson says parents should be talking to their kids tonight not only about what happened, but asking them, do you have any information? Because they need clues. In Aurora, I'm Alan Janae, covering Colorado First.